开。Up, everyone, welcome back. This time with special guests. <laughs> hey, babe. How are you? <laughs> I'm making my selfie for his channel debut right I'm now. Selfie. How does it feel picking up a camera in a gym? I don't know. It's always really strange. I like feel like very uncomfortable. Like usually when I'm in my gym, I don't mind. Yeah. It's like my gym. Whereas here, I'm like. Everyone's looking at you. Well, no yeah. one's looking. Literally. No one's, one's looking. looking. No one's looking. looking. It's like, <laughs> so yeah, There's no, no one looking. here. But like, it's just, um, just strange. But I'm excited. Oh, yeah. I did come here what a month ago now. Yeah, and you featured and in somebody's I featured, video. Featured in your video. Featured in Niall's, Niall's video. video. Um, He's not here tonight to steal no. all the glory. No, it's just, it's us. just us. <laughs> just us. <laughs> and we'll make some videos and we'll see how they go. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like we've got a new trio going on. Because, literally. Um, Sammy's over here, but she's busy, so yeah. we'll catch up with her in a second. Well, then show us some cool tricks. Yeah, okay. Nice camera, by the way. Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> Woo Go on then, Missy. My turn. This I is do. Sophie's vlog, by the way, so oh, do you want to introduce Sophie yourself? Vlog. Tell the audience who you are and what your intentions are with Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> Training buddy, so yes. Training You've not told anyone who you are, oh, though. Hi, I'm Sammy. Everyone. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Show something cool, Sammy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna land my Introduce No way. Okay. <laughs> I wish I could do that. <laughs> That's a count. That's a count. Unfortunately. What's the motivation for this video? <laughs> to do some cool shit. Train in this beautiful gym. Different different wow. scenery. The Meepa. The Meepa Gymnastics Club. And the one in where Rogers, <laughs> the one in Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Not the other one where I went to. I was like stood outside like where, where are you? And she was like, I'm, she's like, I'm, you're not outside. I was like, yeah, I am. I'm outside. Yeah, she's like, no, you're not. I was like, oh, wrong one. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> you having a nice time? <laughs> it's so silky! <laughs> Do you want a hand? <laughs> it's really hard to film and I feel like quite mean just like filming your struggles to get out. <laughs> Let's go, Queen. Yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> Woohoo! Good morning. <laughs> yep, as you can see, no longer at the gym. It's Friday morning. It's half past seven. Um, I had such good time last night. I had such a good time. Forgot to bloody film anything. But yeah, I had such a good time with the with Sammy and Joanna. They're hilarious. So 
yeah, so much fun, really good time. Exactly what I needed was like a little bit in my head yesterday. But it's half seven, I'm teaching a stretch class for my Strong and Flexi gang at 8 a.m. Um, and that's just half an hour, just just a pretty much morning flow, morning routine, morning stretch, get us like ready for the day. And then I'm heading to the gym. Um, it's leg day number two. So I'll film a little bit of that. I have never filmed in the gym before, so this is going to be so strange. So I'm going to film in the gym, come home, get ready, and I'm going out for lunch with my nan. So that is the POA. I'm going to take you along with me. Let's go. Class done, time for coffee, then let's go train. Slight change in the mood. <laughs> I'm like in the, I keep having really long cycles again, which means the end phase, like my luteal phase where like the hormones are really high and out of control and like your mood drops and stuff is really long. Um, and I'm really struggling with it. And I'm also, I think on top of that, obviously I left my, left job, my job this week. And I just wanted to include this bit in the video because I think we need to like change is such a hard thing to deal with sometimes and like especially when you don't know what's going to happen and I feel like I don't really know what's going to happen <laughs> and um, I hope I can like make the most out of this opportunity and I know I'm good enough and I know I can like I know I've got so much more to learn and to do but um I think I'm scared and like all of the emotions kind of coming out because I kind of kept it together while I was leaving work so I feel like all the emotions kind of coming out now so I drove sat in the car in the McDonald's car park and now I've drove to the gym car park there's a Starbucks over there so I'm gonna go get some food eat that quickly and I'm gonna have to have a speedy leg session today so I can I can't go home and get showered so I'm gonna go to Jack's house get ready and then um yeah going out for some lunch but basically what i want to say is that you know it's fucking normal i give myself such a hard time for like not being like the positivity princess and positivity queen like i am positive a lot of the time but i feel like this is just real life like this is what it's like sometimes and i don't need to be embarrassed about it and especially if you're going for a period of change in your life like you should just allow yourself to feel all the feels like feel what you feel and like yeah it's gonna be fun i'll be fine <laughs> so right let's go get some food and then let's go train
that is literally the first time I've ever, ever taken my camera and tripod into the gym. I don't know, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I think it's just more like the thought of everyone's watching, but... Um, so yeah, quick speedy leg session. I missed out, had leg extensions to do, um, but I didn't have time for that. I've got to go have a shower, get ready for lunch. Um, but yeah, I'm really trying to try and gain some muscle. At the moment, I have been feeling really insecure, just about like the lack of muscle I have. And I know I shouldn't be feeling like that, but I think when you're in the fitness space that I'm in, and you see it every day, it's, yeah, it sometimes gets, um, gets a bit stressful. So I want to do this for me, not for anybody else. I set myself the challenge. So I'm doing two leg workouts, push, pull, and then a couple runs, a couple F45 sessions and some gymnastics. So my training is pretty full on and it's not necessarily a base towards aesthetics. It's just based towards like being the best version of me and trying to push myself, test my limits and just see what, you know, my body's capable of. So yeah, hope you enjoy that little gym session. Now I'm going to run home, get ready. I'll show you what I'm wearing and stuff like that. Okay, team. So, um, unfortunately I have had to cancel my lunch with my nan. I was really looking forward to it. We're going to like a local Turkish. I was, yeah, really looking forward to it. The weather's beautiful, but unfortunately Jack has tested positive um, for coronavirus today. And obviously I was there having a shower and getting ready in his room um, when he did his test and found out. So I have had to cancel that and I have gone straight away to get a PCR test. So I've literally just hopped back in the car after having that. So I, yeah, will be going home until I get my test results. It's just one of these things that happen. Luckily I have had two vaccines because of I obviously just have just finished working for the NHS, so I was lucky to get my vaccines earlier on. So, you know, fingers crossed, um, that's okay. He's okay at the moment. I haven't really had, like, close contact for the last couple of days. So, yeah, I'm not sure what kind of, well, like, what's going to happen. So, but it just means that I won't be able to finish this vlog at the restaurant and for the rest of this day. But... I will take you through what I'm going to do with the rest of my afternoon because I'm going home to isolate. So, yeah, let's go home. Let's sunbathe. Let's read. Tell you about the book. I'll, I need to have some food as well. I need to have some lunch. So I'll show you what I'm going to have for lunch. And, yeah, this is so funny. This is not the type of video I planned to have when I started filming it. But these things happen. It's quite exciting. It's an adventure. Okay, so home. Most random lunch ever ever because it's kind of like a throw together of what I kind of had in the fridge so I've got some peppers, tomatoes, salmon kebabs and some um, French stick. So I'm going to eat that now. It's absolutely roasting in the UK so I'm going to put a kini on and some both. So it is Saturday afternoon and I would have usually worked this morning but obviously I had to cancel due to yesterday so I have pretty much just been chilling out all morning and found out this afternoon that my Covid results have come back negative so that's um, really good and really really happy about that but just before we end the vlog I thought I would chat about this book that I was reading that I featured yesterday that I was reading in the sun um, so this is called Happy Sexy Millionaire and it's by Stephen Bartlett now I'd, I'd seen quite a few good reviews about the book and kind of just was ordering a new Fitbit strap the other day and I thought alright let's just order it and I really am enjoying it so far. You can see I've read quite a lot of it already. But I feel like I'm reading it at quite a good point in my life. And I plan to read a couple more books like this as I go through this kind of transition stage in my life. Because I struggle quite a lot with, you know, really feeling like I'm good enough. And this book talks about we are constantly chasing like the next thing and we're constantly chasing that thing that's going to make us happy and like for me I was like okay I'll be happy when I get this many followers that will make me feel validated I'll feel happy and validated when I get this brand deal 
or this brand or, and I'm like those things don't make you happy you are the person that's in control of your happiness and it's not until you see it in on paper and you slow down and you think about it that you realize that's the truth like I have just achieved one of my biggest goals like I have managed to follow my dream for a whole year of training creating content sharing with an audience and being able to leave my nine to five job to do that like I don't think I've really allowed myself to for that to sink in and how proud of myself I should be and how happy I should be so I think it's just taking the time to realize I don't have to spend all of this new time working every single day because of hustle culture I can just take things at my own pace and you know find that happy medium and spend more time doing things for me so it's been really good obviously because I've been isolating like I had to read and paint and try to spend less time on my phone also I just want to show you guys my painting because wait let's do it this way look at that obviously it's a paint by numbers but still these bits were so hard and like they're not quite finished yet but look how good that is I'm so bloody proud of myself could you do that? I don't think so so what you do when you've got minimal social life and no, I'm joking so what you do when um, all of your friends have covid and you have a social media problem obviously <laughs> if you find yourself like addicted to social media which I think I am like subconsciously and you're like really struggling to find activities to like occupy yourself I would highly suggest a paint by numbers and get yourself a difficult one as well because you literally have to sit there because the paintbrushes aren't that good and you have to sit there for like hours and like do them so I would highly highly recommend but anyway um I'm gonna sign out now <laughs> what was that for god's sake um I'm gonna end the vlog now and like crack on with the rest of my weekend. I literally have no plans for the rest of the weekend. I'm gonna chill out and then get back on it on Monday morning. But hopefully this gives you a little sense of reality. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. We all go up and down. So if that's you, this is your sign to give yourself a break and just know that you're exactly where you need to be and that is all.